Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Self the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this and that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be he's unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible. Like <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate, and a happy new year. 2020 may not yet feel too different from 2019, but make no mistake, we won't be standing still on The Advocate. I'll be igniting the torch by tackling the massive misdemeanor that is the National Assembly building and the budget for its renovation. Treasure, a newcomer on The Advocate, is a torchbearer in her own right. She is saying what's good for the goose is good for the gander. In other words, both pregnant schoolgirls and their accomplices should be allowed to remain in school. Ikene wants to reset a default mode, default dishonesty to default honesty. Well, the new year would be a good time to start. Seidu is about foundational or even moral reform. He is tackling single parenting. Emeka is certainly starting the year on a good note. Recently, the expression, the straw that broke the camel's back, keeps coming to mind. For love or not, and country. The National Theatre London, designed by Dennis Lasdon in 1976, and the National Assembly, Abuja. Small bit of history for both. The National Theatre, London that is, was found to be above budget on completion of the drawings and other related cost documents. So what to do? Well, the patriotic team simply put the drawings in a photocopy machine, chose a percentage scale down. So today, though, some spaces have awkward dimensions or are a little small. The cost came down anyhow. Today, the theatre is grade two listed with turnover of over $100 million. National Assembly, Abuja. With all the architects available in Nigeria, General Abacha awarded the contract for design and build in 1996 to ITB, a foreign construction firm with a disingenuously contrived German name, Ingenue und Tiefbau, who are widely believed to have been his lackeys. And they are not German. The drawings were scaled down in the same manner but the costs of $35 million were left as was. So where this team was not patriotic, they were smart and sharp. Back to the future today. Major General Buhari has asked for and received 37 billion naira, that's about $103 million, for renovation of the assembly, an impossible figure. But in return, he gets to sink Nigeria into further debt by being obliged by the same assembly of his wish to borrow $30 billion with no solid plan for repayment. So once again, I ask, why do we do this to ourselves in Africa? Cheat, steal from, disrespect our own sisters and brothers. Why at a time of extreme hardship do we engage in this taunting game? When a man is held unreasonably for semantically inspired charges, where several citizens are in state custody for challenging the corrupt system, where government millionaires are still being created every day. 37 billion naira is way beyond what should be spent on a parliament complex in a nation without water, light, food, and housing, without infrastructure, education, and health facilities for all. Note that the complex is not of particularly listable design heritage. We must continue to challenge the decisions and actions of this regime in courts of law and public opinion. We must continue to expose inglorious acts in the safest ways we can, for indeed our own lives are precious. The system as is will trigger a revolution. In what form, I can't say. Love is supposed to be selfless and given, but in Nigeria, it is love for sale. I, 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 want, to, I want to ask if this 37 billion is confirmed, if it's truly 37 billion, mm. then I want to assume that um, this edifice 
will definitely make it to one of the heritage sites eventually. <laughs> really? If, if, <laughs> if, if at all, <laughs> if they have to build at $137 million billion. right now. But, but listening, you see, to you, listening to you, Chuka, somehow yeah. I, all that kept coming to my mind is that if people like you can put together something like this and reason like this, mm. and then we have people representing us in, in places of power, they're not representative of, of what, we, what Nigeria has to offer. Yes. So I'm bigging you up yes. in a way. I'm saying that okay. you know, anyone listening to you and the way you reason will say, yeah, but this one is a Nigerian. So who are those who are representing people mm -hmm. like him? Yeah. They don't come near because they're not reasoning the way you're reasoning. So there's a mismatch. You see, the funny thing is, you know, if I go back to around 1980 or 81, I remember I was in boarding house in England, and some boys sort of accosted me and said that, you know, this is in the days of military rule, obviously. And they said, how come Nigeria is ruled by those people if you are there? Okay. Or if, or, I'm, or and, then like they, and then they looked at me and said, okay, I'm presupposing that your father who sent you here has his head screwed on right, right? <laughs> how come your father is not the president of Nigeria? You know, what, is, what you're saying is, why is, how, what's going on in your country? Which is where horses. Mm. I mean, isn't it the problem of Nigeria that we do not have round pegs in round holes? holes. Yeah. And that we have people who are just there for the status, just yeah. for being there, mm. yeah. Otherwise, you look at something like this and you wonder, is this our priority right now of course with the rate of unemployment? Mm. Is this really what, we what should be our focus right now? You mean we have that much? No, yeah. well, I, I, I do not say that. The I, I minimum it's wage? Apparent, it's apparent to really? even, even a child in school that this isn't our priority. What I'm saying is, why do they think they can sell us this kind of foolishness? What do they take us for? I yeah, that's, like that's, it, you that's it. it. You know, this is the sort of thing that you expect that if somebody came to, General, to Buhari and said, Sir, we want to renovate the, you know, the National Assembly building. And he says, eh, is it bad? Yes, it's very bad. Oh, how much do you spend on it? Oh, 37 billion. Cool I, ex from the I expect that he would have given the person a very hot slap and then said, it seems that you don't know that we don't have but schools and hospitals. Yeah, get out of my office. But this is, this <laughs> so this is, why what, you, this is what you guys are missing. Mm. Right? Please help this us. This is clearly a quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. That's how I read it. <laughs> it's a quid pro quo. I prove this thing. This is the cost of... That's because they came together. Security votes. No, no, not about security votes. <laughs> no, no. okay. I, I think that, you know, the, f f for them to approve this 30 billion, billion loan, yes. knowing how this, our oh, people see. work, okay. they will have, ah, what's the change? Yeah. 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 That's the quick yeah, I said that already. That's the, the thing. Yeah. That's Sorry, what, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. So why do they even want that? Oh, yeah, but because, so. I mean, this is money for the, they're not going to renovate anything. Hey, that's there's already, money for the boys, oh, right? No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, this, <laughs> that's why I say security votes. There's already, there's already a subsistence contract for the maintenance of the National Assembly. Correct. It's not falling apart. Yeah. I mean, if, if it were to be falling apart, you would have heard over the last, last assembly, last three, four years, issues around, oh, this building is falling apart. They just constructed a new, two new chambers for the, for the another side, Senate side and House side. Two new blocks. Yeah. To cover up. Less than, so, less than three years ago, four years ago. Yeah. So what do you spend? What's urgent about what, it? Exactly. What's dilapidated so, about it? It's a name for... So it's a name for... It's a very convenient forms. name for... One of them said yeah, microphones keep still going need off to come from. I don't when want to talking. believe that, that they've approved it. Seven billion dollars. No, but the, 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 the gentleman who okay, has so, it said sorry. something like that, said, yeah. said the president is aware of it. Okay. It was reported to have said the president is aware of the... the yeah. You know, because sometimes what tends to happen, people, because... Our president has this very powerful image. Everybody looks at him as a strong man. So when you ever mention his name, everybody... Not he said, Oh, yeah, yeah true. So, so everybody says, oh, he's aware of it. As if he being aware of it is therefore that, that now a cover for... Uh, yeah, legitimizes, thank you, the, the transaction. Absolutely not. I, mean, I, I, I would say this. I, I'm a strong critic of the president, but I, I know for a fact if the facts that. were to be made known to him, he about him. this that he will not sanction. Well, I, 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 I take it for granted that if yeah. he, he were knew to the know yeah. the details of this, yeah. let me let me bring, I, I let me bring in another. Because I don't think we'll have recently this. I spoke mm -hmm. to someone who was in the aviation sector, retired, and he was saying that something similar happened. Well, not so similar, but it's a similar kind of tangent. They were bidding for uh, huge sums of money to be taken at um, twenty-four percent. Um, you say interest from a certain bank right, to right, rectify yeah. the problem with wind shear, the wind shear factor that was causing planes to drop out of the skies. And when they finally obtained that huge sum, he was there and observed how those monies were shared. But he says he's sure, the same way Abeka is sure, that 99% sure that the president is not aware 
of how, because he feels that that has come under the guise of this new loan again, yeah. yes. you know, for renovations yeah. of it. And he feels the president 90% 90, 90 not aware. I, I think and, so. And that's I think. Strange. I think. Keep hearing yeah. I, I, look. So it's even even within, with oh, this, even yeah, within this that's loan. The problem. Um, and this is another thing. With, with, you know, a, a, couple, a, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about the the NTA. Mm -hmm. I think you brought yeah. it up. Yes. Okay. Even within this thirty billion, this is a five hundred million dollar oh, loan yes. to yes. the NTA yeah, for digitization. Right. Yeah, that's oh, yes. right. Yes. I mean, you can build three, four brand new TV from scratch with that kind of money. And so, Inflated look, <laughs> I just think that um, obviously every leader has one or two pet projects that they need money for. I believe the president has a pet project within that 30, 30 billion. billion yeah. And he's more concerned about how do I get this money to do this project. And so people are tacking on onto it. Onto okay. it. Yeah, yeah. This is what the, I think. Everything rises and falls on leadership. I mean, you, we can't say uh, perhaps the, the president is not aware of the details. That's where you're the leader. You should be aware of the details. You should be aware that this is going on. You should ask your lieutenants or your, your yeah. You should ask them, what is this going to? I don't get it. <laughs> this is just a waste yeah. of resources. We don't need it. It's not needful. Yeah. Well. They say common sense isn't as common as we'd like to think. Or perhaps it's the exercise of it that's rare. After the break, Treasury is appealing to equity in our dealings with pregnant girls in school. That's common sense, isn't it?